Well, I'm proud of these guys uh, for their fight. And um, this is the second game in a row that our guys have battled. Um, this one's a little different. Obviously, you got the number one team in the conference and number 14 in the country who is, um, who's in your building. And I thought we did some good stuff. Uh, what we got to find out and figure out is I've got to get a little bit more scoring from my guard position for the second game in a row. Uh, basically, our bigs have been carrying us, and obviously our team has shifted as far as who we are. Uh, when you look at the way Jericho Helms is playing, and also um, you look at Manny and then obviously DJ being able to come in and contribute today, uh, we've got to get a little bit better scoring, or we got to get some more scoring from our guard position because we lost so much uh, from David, Devin Daniels. But uh, we talked about, you know, obviously getting better. Uh, I think this team has learned a lot about themselves in the last couple of games because we didn't know how we were going to react, you know, going to Syracuse without Devin for the first time and DJ at that game. And then obviously playing the University of Virginia today. So questions. Corey Smith. Hey, Kevin, uh, you know, at the beginning of the game, obviously, when uh, DJ came in, struggled at the in the first half, but uh, there in the second half, I think three or four overall and, and had nine points. What was the the reasoning for, for him not playing in those like final six minutes, basically, of the game? Well, Corey, they hired me. I'm the coach. And I felt <laughs> like Manny was going to be the guy that was going to play. And um, obviously, we wanted Manny in there. We Obviously, DJ had scored. But I also wanted a guy that could be able to stop him from scoring. We needed to get stops to be able to get the ball back. And so... You know, I don't I don't feel like I answer questions why so and so plays or not. You know, Manny Manny Bates has been playing tremendous for us. And um, you know, that that was my decision and my decision only. And kind of a follow up to how much have you seen the mentality for, for Jericho Hellum shift over these last couple of games? You know, obviously he's been he's been able to score, but not at this volume. Well, he's playing well. Um, you know, he's doing everything that we've asked him to do. Um, you know, he's playing like a junior. He's playing like a guy who's been in the program for three years. He's gotten better. He works at it. Um, you know, he's a hard worker. The kid's done everything that we've asked him to do. And you, you've you seen his game get better since he was a freshman. James? Yeah, Kevin, it felt like uh, the free throw line was big tonight. Virginia was 20 of 22 at the line, and, and you guys were 7 of 12, missed five frustrating for you to kind of in a tight game like this for for the line to be be an issue like that well I thought the the, the play that really completely changed the game around was um, I thought Huff walked and he got an and one um, and I think that changed the game it was 52 48 and I think about four minutes left in the game for a little bit over four minutes and that was a complete game changer for us but yeah the free throw lines are a, a big you know give Virginia credit they got the calls they got there Luke. Kevin Braxton was was going over the long list of things that you guys have dealt with this year, whether it's COVID or injuries or guys playing through injuries or, you know, he mentioned DJ sitting out. How frustrating is it that through all this stuff, almost all of which is outside of your control, it's not like you're missing shots or screwing up defenses. I mean, these are kind of external things that you have no control over. How frustrating is it that you're kind of you know, just not able to get any momentum because of all this stuff going on? Well, it, it's frustrating. Um, may I be the first to tell you, the kids are frustrated. I'm glad you asked Braxton because typically I haven't, I've stayed away from asking those guys how they feel, uh, but it's tough. But, you know, it's something that everybody's going to go through. This is an unusual year. We're going to go through ups and downs. Um, you know, we still got a lot of basketball to play and we're still going to have some situations. The injuries are going to happen every year. But obviously with COVID, anything can happen to you. And so we just got to figure out, you know, obviously how to capitalize on our situation. I'm blessed that our guys are able to play games. Uh, we're getting better, uh, but I got some young guards that need experience. And once they get experience and continue to play, they're going to be really good basketball players. And we're hoping that it happens sooner than later. Um, and that's, you know, that's just the reality of what we're dealing with this year. We're in a national pandemic. Are there any other questions for coach? All right, I think that's it. Thank you. Thank you.